Well, we have extremely slow Wi-Fi in our house, and it, it used to not be as bad as it's become, but I don't know whether or not it's the service or the equipment that we have going. You know, you and everybody in the world is suffering from bad Wi-Fi these days, isn't it? It's okay. uh, Yeah, partly because everybody around you is using Wi-Fi. Uh, okay. So you, one thing you want to know is, is it my Internet service provider? And the best way to do that is to connect directly to, is it a cable or a DSL? Uh, cable. Cable. So you could, you know, they gave you a cable modem with an Ethernet jack on it. If you had a cable, you know, of course, most laptops no longer have Ethernet jacks on them. But if you could direct connect it to the cable modem, see how fast it is. That would eliminate the router. That would eliminate Wi-Fi. It would just go directly to the cable modem. And if it's fast enough... You know, if it's if it's living up to its promise, then it's not the cable provider. It's not the DSL, the modem. It's the uh, it's either the router or the fact that just Wi-Fi is getting worse and worse. We're doing more and more with it. I um, I checked the other day on my Wi-Fi. I have 57 devices attached to the Wi-Fi. That's way up from the handful that you might have had a few years ago. And then there's also the neighbors, right? They're blasting Wi-Fi in too. So that's why one of the reasons people have turned to these new mesh Wi-Fi routers. Have you seen ads for these, like the Eero? I have not. Okay, so this is an attempt to solve this problem. In the past, what we've said is, well, you want to make sure, when's the last, what is your Wi-Fi router? When, when, when's the last time you, get, you, you bought one? Well, probably within the last, Two years. Yeah, so it's pretty new. We updated it pretty recently. Yeah. yeah. Even we tried an extender with it, which didn't. That's what people do. They put an extender much. on there. The problem with an extender is the extender is half the speed of the wireless access point. That's in order to communicate with it, they cut their bandwidth in half. They have to. Sh you have to share it. So that really gets. That's a slow way to do it. It's not going to improve the speed. It's only going to improve the range. In fact, it's going to cut cut the speed. So and speed is your issue, not range, right? Yes. Yeah. So my recommendation is to take a look at these. They're pricey, but they do solve this problem, these new mesh routers. And the idea is they're like an extender. You have a base station, and then you have units spread throughout the house. The idea, though, is that they don't cut the speed of the, extend, you know, the uh, extended units, the satellite units, by half. They're full speed because they use a special back channel. And they do a lot of optimization. They kind of... Pay attention to what devices are attached to which of these various base stations, and they optimize. They're pretty good. Eero kind of pioneered this. Actually, in the consumer mode, there's a company called Ubiquity that's been doing this for business for years. Ubiquity has a consumer version called Amplify. There's Eero, E-E-R-O. Uh, there's uh, uh, VLOP or V-E-L-O-P from uh, uh, Linksys. Netgear has something called the Orbi. Everybody's doing it. But I'll tell you the ones I've been very happy with of late. And, and, I th and I think I know why. So one of the things these new mesh routers do is they choose the channel and the frequency. There's two Wi-Fi frequencies you can use, 2.4 or bands. You can use 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And the nice thing about 5 gigahertz is it doesn't travel very far. Why is that good? Because your neighbors aren't going to be interfering. They're, you're not going to see their 5 gigahertz signal, nor are they going to see yours. But that means you need to have a router in every room because it doesn't go through walls very well. Ah. So what the Plume, P-L-U-M-E, does is it's a little device you plug into the plug socket. It's, it's, it's tiny. Uh, and you put one in every room you want Wi-Fi. They're about 50 bucks each. And then, of course, you have one connected to the cable modem. And it creates a mesh network. And little pools of 5 gigahertz, they do 2.4 as well. But the 5 gigahertz works really well. And if you have devices, and most modern devices will work on 5 gigahertz, then you get really great performance and great connectivity wherever you are in the house. So I would look at these, plumewifi.com. You can buy them in packs. All of these mesh systems are expensive uh, mm -hmm. because you're getting in typically at least three. How, how many square feet is the, is the house? It's only 2,400 okay. single stories, so, so two, there's not a lot of wall space. The Eros will go about 1,500 uh, square feet, so two Eros would be enough for that. Plume's a little different. You want to put one in the, like your you know living room, bedroom, office, wherever you're going to use the Wi-Fi. So start with probably a house that big, three would be fine. 
and then expand okay. out. But you'll see now we're spending 300 bucks, give or take, for Wi-Fi. But it does solve the problem. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to spend that much money, a newer uh, router that does 5 gigahertz better might be good. I like the Asus, A-S-U-S -S routers. They're quite good. Uh, and they are and they are powerful. The problem is, it's like <laughs> my friend Jim Salter uh, describes it like being in a bar. When it was just you know you with the Wi-Fi in your neighborhood, you could talk in a normal voice. But as more and more routers got in, people turned up the power on the routers, so everybody's shouting, and it's, and it's analogy. and you can't hear because <laughs> everybody like a bar, crowded bar, everybody's shouting. It didn't help. It just made it noisier. So these new devices are a little smarter. They don't shout. They're a little more targeted, and they do it at a frequency that doesn't go through walls, and that's good. Is, there, is it possible to have two different, um, I guess, modems in the same household that connect to the same cable? No, no. Mm. Yeah, I know that that seems like a good solution. You, in order to do that, what you would do is you, you have to have one and only one cable modem but you could use some other form of networking like power line networking or something over the cable wires called mocha to put a, a, a extender unit in another room wired so mocha there are mocha routers that will do this using the built-in cable so it's kind of like what you're describing but you but the cable company will only let you have one router it confuses okay. them if you have two routers yeah <laughs> they say, what is going on if you don't want to spend the money on the plume, I, I understand. It's very expensive, but it does work. Eero, same thing. It, these things really do solve the problem, but at, but at a high price. And then if you want to save money and you want a, a good... Yeah, I think it's worth it. I'm willing to... <laughs> I'm willing to pay for good Wi-Fi. Uh, the Archer um, from TP-Link, the Archer C7 or C9, are very good, inexpensive routers that might improve the situation just by being a better router. But I, but if it, if it's really an intractable problem, I think these new mesh routers really are great. I've tried them all, by the way. They 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 all really do a great job. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.